Yo, what's going on guys? I'm going to be showing you how to play Vayne top lane and carry super, super hard. She's one of the best top laners for season 12 right now because of the buff lethal tempo. This rune page on her has a crazy high win rate. Same with the build. This build is roughly a 67% win rate. For your runes, you want lethal tempo with overheal, alacrity, and coup de grace. Taste of blood and ravenous. Taste of blood, ravenous, and overheal work really well together. Keeps you full HP and helps with your trades a lot whenever you're healing off of your life still or any other source at full hp you get a little bonus shield which helps you scrap vein top lane beats every single melee champion in the game or can at least go even with them her hardest melee matchups though are malphi and nasus nasus once he's six malphi even before he's six i knew singe was going to do this i thought he's going to come from the other side though i think i'm just going to run him down though i have a movement speed bonus into him so we shouldn't actually be able to keep up with him and that is what he gets for proxying on me. And we didn't even lose the wave of minions either. So he's going to be in a really bad spot off that. If you're wondering how we did that, Vayne's passive gives her a bunch of bonus movement speed when moving towards enemy champions. So Singe is about to get giga countered here. Oh man, we missed that minion. Feels bad. So we're actually up CS on him here too. Back to full health, have our W. He's going to be pretty sad after that. I imagine we're going to get hard camped. Uh, don't know where he's at. He might be going in for another proxy. I'm going to slow play it. I should have level advantage. And I should uh, <laughs> have positional advantage. You just saw my overheal there. That little shield I got from the Ravenous. I was full HP. You see it right there. It's that tiny little sliver of white. The minions are hitting me though and breaking it. So he's going to be playing really far back. I assume he used his teleport. If we give him a little bit of space, he might step up and then we can auto attack Q reset on him. Q is a great auto resetter since it gives you more space and it's also a very clean animation to auto than Q. Your general trade pattern you want to look for is auto Q auto if you can. If you can only go in for raw autos, that's fine. Just depends on how they're playing and how they're positioning. We're gonna get our E now. We see a Mumu is mid lane. He's gonna be pathing into his red side. He only has blue buff right now. The closer you are to the minions, the easier they are to the last hit because your auto gets there faster. So we're trying to stand as close as we can. I know he wants this cannon minion. We weren't able to get him with that third auto to apply our silver bolts, unfortunately. We're gonna pressure him as hard as we can here. We're going to get another point in our W and max it first. Uh, we can actually kill him here. We're going to auto E the uh, auto EQ reset there. Got him pretty good. If I see a Mumu, I'm going to run. Otherwise, I'll just reset from here. If I see him right there, I'll go this way. This is what pretty much every melee matchup looks like, except for the Malphite Nasus. Those are much more challenging, I'd say. Malphite, because he can constantly poke you down with his Q. And Nasus, he can poke you down with his E. So before you have life still in either one of those matchups, they're really challenging. So in those, you have to rush Vampiric if you're up against a heavy poke matchup. But once Nasus is six, he'll straight up all in you. And uh, Malphite can just sit back, give up some CS, and wait for a gank, and then press R on you. Any other melee matchup, even like Irelia or Fiori, you should be fine against. Just pressure him with auto Q autos. He managed to dump that wave. I'll get a word down right there. I don't want him to set up a proxy. Auto attack Q reset. We were going to miss that minion. I had to try to s sliver in my auto to get it. Looks like Singe is going in for roams. I don't really want to freeze it. We can easily poke him underneath turret. If you're trying to avoid turret damage, just float in a single auto attack and then walk away. Or if you're really deep under turret, auto attack and then immediately Q away. And while your auto is traveling in midair, hopefully you can get away from the turret's range. That's the goal when you're poking melees under turret. It's easier to poke melee than range champs because they have to step up to actually hit the minions with range champs. Uh, it's, it can be a little trickier to find that spacing since they don't oftentimes have to step into that space. Uh, we should probably Q reset on that. We went in for a raw auto, we got it. Raw auto, we Q out, we're going for the raw auto there. We landed our third shot. I don't mind him flipping me. Auto attack, Q reset, we're going for the E. 
we Q out and we almost killed ourselves there. Our movements were a little bit clunky and we forced it. At least it panned out. When he flipped us, we didn't have any damage and we didn't have an auto in midair. So when he flipped us underneath turret, since we had minions, the turret wasn't gonna aggro us anyway. So that flip was, I don't know if that was a bait or like what that was. He just used his thing. Got him. We juked out both of his Qs. I almost had enough mana to use my Condemn, but not quite. Oh, this is not good. Yeah, we're going to die here for sure. Well played by the Singe. He burned his Ghost and his Predator. Should be able to come back to lane and kill him. I'll go ahead and pick up Vampiric. And uh, we might just leave base with a Control Word. I don't really feel like selling my refill just yet. I would really like if I could sell refill and get control word with the agility cloak. I guess I'll sell refill. It is what it is. We already have the life still. Lily's going to grab that fatty wave. If we rushed up there, we probably would have missed them all anyway. So it's better for her to get it than not at all. We need to get some better vision down. Getting ganked by that Amumu there kind of sucked for us. We need to stay alive so we can assert constant pressure. He doesn't have ghosts, so I could probably kill him here. We both have tier one boots. Yeah, he's literally gonna die. He's out of mana. I don't know if he realizes that. Auto attack Q reset. When he had his Q on, he bled himself dry of mana. And um, he was on his R, which gives him a bunch of mana regen and health regen and other stats. So maybe he thought he would have enough mana to do something. I actually don't really want to push because I'm going to get ganked. So I should have slowed down my autos there a little bit. I think we can still soft freeze it from this position. since Okay, we know a move is bot lane now. Now I feel safer. If I don't know where the enemy jungler is, I don't want to do anything too crazy. He could just like walk up flash army and then I'm going to get wrecked super, super hard. If you are going to play Vayne top, I would recommend banning Teemo. That's what I did this game. Banning Teemo makes things a lot easier. Our wave's slow pushing now. We're going to go ahead and dump this. Get up as much health back as we can. Stand close to the minion so you can easily last hit, if possible. Q in, went in for a raw Q poke. Couldn't quite find it. He's standing very far back. He's afraid of getting hit. Um, I feel like a Mumu has to be here. I need to get a ward down like right now. Yeah, we need to ward. Okay, Mumu's bot side. Never mind. He keeps trying to go in for things, but we're putting out so much damage on him. He's like, he keeps changing his mind as he goes in. This is a really bad matchup for Singe, and it's why you need to block the proxy. It's also why I highly recommend going Ghost. Got him. Wanted the extra movement speed for my R. It's a pretty low cooldown too, so if I use my R and get a kill, it's going to be worth. He was most likely going to reset after that trade anyways, so. If I held on to my R and didn't get the kill, I'd be a little bit sad. And Mumu's going mid. Looks like he's going to find the pickup on Katarina. We are not going to let this singed farm. We're going to try to keep him as low as we can. And you see our little overshield, overshield in right here. It's a very nice trade rune. You get up your shield, they try to trade with you, and you basically block an auto attack for free off of it. You auto the minions or the champ or them up again, and then you get it back up. We're gonna auto attack Q reset him. I can't Q because of this goo though. Auto attack Q. I'm outside of the turret range there, so it doesn't really matter. I'll get back a lot of my health. We have lethal tempo attack speed on, so we're able to kill these minions pretty quick. Put out higher damage, thus getting more life still back from our vampiric. Yeah, here's a Mumu. This is what I was worried about. Yeah, I gotta... I'm kind of baiting him to stay, but at the same time, I'm a little nervous. I'm keeping a close eye on the minimap. Because if he does gank me, I could very well die. Singe is pretty low. We're going to want to dump this wave. Mumu's pathing away, so most likely he's not going to be here for a while. 
He's gonna base first, unless Singe is spam pinging him to help. In which case, uh, I guess he could come back. Yeah, he might come back off this TP, his red buffs up. Gonna pepper him with autos, keep walking out of turret range after we pinch. So there, I could've done it. So he's missing most of these, he only has 38 CS. It's really low. I literally condemned the wrong thing there. Yeah, we're dead. 100%. That's the dangers of getting fat ganked. Lilia almost got the kill. Makes me a little sad things turned out that way. We definitely could have... Uh, if we would have condemned Singe, we would have been completely fine there. Missing that condemn onto the minion. We should have done target champions only hotkey. By default, it's on your tilde key. For those who don't know what the tilde is, it's usually near your number one on the keyboard. It's the squiggly line that's horizontal. It'll make your cursor look like this. Then it won't let you target it on a minion, your ability. So that would have definitely saved me a lot of headache. Because I would have accidentally clicked it on the minion. It wouldn't have gone off and I would still have it for Singe. But him landing that fling there set it up so well for the Amumu. So, so well. Look how many people are top lane right now. Their support and their jungler. We got three people top. Singe got one plate. We have two. I would like to finish off the rest of his turret. It's really freaking hard though with the Mumu still coming top lane so much. We'll see how, how much we can get here. That's a good control ward. I don't know why she's taking my minions though. When she takes them that far away, I'm not even getting any XP. If I'm in range to get XP, we're at least both getting 80% of the XP. But if she's taking them that far away, she's actually just kind of putting me behind. Vagar's here. I don't know what's going on, man. I just want to play some top lane. I'm sure that's what Cinch was thinking when he saw the vein. Yeah, Vagar was low since so just trying to box me out. He got my shutdown, so he's actually pretty big now. When you look at his items, he has like the same amount of items that I do, which is insane. Like we're both one full item and we're about the same level too. <laughs> That's the annoying thing about shutdown. I'm going to R and run him down. Yeah, I can't go into that bush or he'll kill me. I got to heal up off these. He'll fling me. I don't have my shield bow up right now, so I'll just die. If I had a ward, I would ward the bush and then he would be the one who dies. He'll just lose turret here. Turret plate's about to fall off. I'm gonna animation cancel into the turret. Nice. That is first turret gold and a plate as well. We're gonna get all of our health back and try to build up another gold lead on Sin. She literally came back from such a deficit from getting a kill on me one time. Shut down gold, dude. It's it's crazy. I see a moon was near bot side. get a word down right there I probably die here yeah singe had lived with 30 health and I blew my ghost that's unfortunate we'll get the rage blade head back up there we could go for wits end that would actually be really really good versus the singe mumu wits end has been nerfed a little bit still pretty strong option I think bork would be better for now it has on hit damage, which uh, Gunzu's will amplify with its seething strike passive. And plus, Gunzu's amplifies our W passive. So I think we'll just go for Bork for now. We'll end up grabbing Wits End a little bit later. Bard does magic damage, Vagar does Amumu and Singed. So much damage though, man. I got flung and it's just over. And since he has Predator, even when I can demo him away, it's not enough. He'll catch back up until he actually inflicts damage on me. The Predator lasts for like eight or 10 seconds. 
It's a really long duration. I'm gonna have to keep a closer eye on the mini map and to stay alive because if I keep if we keep dying like this, that lead we built means nothing. This guy is so annoying. Yeah, I got a ward this time, buddy. That's exactly why I bought the control ward. So I don't have to blind walk into him, then he flings me. I can just ward over the wall and gun him down. Machine gun him. They're grouping up mid. There's two of them mid, so that means only two of them can come for me. And if they don't have synergy, I feel like I should be fine. Amumu's over here, so yeah, we're safe to push here. I could collapse on Amumu. I think a Lilia should be able to solo him though. Lilia does really well versus tanky melee champs. It's hard for them to inflict damage. Honor or why is there? Did you guys see that? There's a vi vision thing right here. I've never seen that before. Never in my life have I ever seen a vision thing this far out. Yeah, she got the kill on a Moomoo. Makes sense. So she's gonna come back top here in a second. Almost had a failure. So Vagar dropped a fat steaming load on my face. That wasn't fun. I just needed a few more autos. And Kata picks it up. Very cool. Lilia should be able to finish a failure because he had no shield bow. And team's going to get singed. We look like a massive inter, but at the very least, we're setting some things up for our team. I'll take it. It is the ninja patented butterfly effect. For those of you who aren't familiar with the ninja butterfly effect, just type in ninja. League of Legends butterfly effect is pretty good. It's good stuff. Someone on my stream linked me to that. I forget who. <laughs> oh man, it's funny because what he was saying is something one of my brothers says when he's playing video games. <laughs> it's, basically, it's basically a big excuse for dying a lot. Oh man, missed cannon. That's unfortunate. Now that I have outer top turret, we're most likely going to uh, just take this one. You don't want to be too far up on the map when your teammates aren't pressuring, because then when you're the only zit poking out, you're going to get picked, you know? So make sure the other zits are of equal importance or equal uh, like spacing on the map. So if I'm all the way up here, my teammates are back here on the map. Obviously, I'm going to get... Why is that thing on my head? What the heck? That was weird. I'm going to hold on to my ward. Singe is dead here in a second. Our R gives us even more bonus movement speed from our passive. But God, that goo is so annoying. That's a lot of movement speed. I don't know if he ghosted there. I wasn't really paying attention. I don't think he has ghost. Down goes singed. He didn't have someone to back him up this time. Vayne and Tristan are, one, are two of the only AD carries who can kind of split push. Yeah, why is this here? That is so weird. I've never seen that before. There isn't a new patch that's live right now either, so I'm really confused why that's there. Did they hotfix that into the game before the new patch? Because the new patch doesn't drop for another day or two. That is so strange. It's a really weird spot to put it. Oh, yo, it has to be intentional if they put it down there too. That is an intentional change. It's either that or Vandril's completely broken the game. This time Riot's going to put him in a, in a concentration camp. My bad, I meant relearning camp. They're going to put him in there. <laughs> oh, man. They're all near the red buff right now. Singe TP'd in and died. I don't know who's going to match me. I still had my uh, my flash. He probably wasn't expecting that. It's a lot of lethal tempo attack speed. I think it goes up all the way to 40 or 50% on range champs. I got to get out of here though before Singe 
ghost out of base and eats me alive. We don't want to deal with a ghost. Predator singed with base movement speed. Fountain bonus speed. Easy red buff. I'll sit here off to the side. I think someone's going to come for the red buff. Maybe Singe, maybe uh, the Moomoo. -moo. I am going to hold on to my ward since champions like Singe like to play around corners and bushes. That way when he enters in, we'll just keep shooting him without having to step any closer. The bard's about to walk into me. I guess I'll go for Singe. He's pretty easy to kill. Vayne's passive 30 movement speed is so freaking good. I'm moving 375 right now. He's moving 390, so I move faster with my uh, passive. I'm walking into his poison right now, and it does not feel good. Lilia finished off the kill. That makes me happy. And we don't need to be here anymore since we have the super minions. We can go mid or bot lane. You could also team fight on Vayne. I've been avoiding it because our team comp sucks. We don't have a single tank or bruiser. They have tanky bard, tank Amumu, basically tank singe, and Vagard cage. Plus a Phalios R. So I've been trying to avoid team fighting as much as possible because I feel like their 5v5 is better. I think their 5v5 is much, 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 much better. You get in the habit of moving in between every auto attack. If you're struggling with that, just spend five or 10 minutes in practice tool each day. It really doesn't take that much time when you think about it. For me, I used to play really non-mechanically advanced champions only, like Fiddlesticks originally, and then like Nunu and stuff like that. Cause I had a bad computer, bad internet. So I didn't really have any moving and shooting mechanics. It only, it only took me a couple of months just practicing 5-10 minutes a day in training tool and you, you get those skills pretty quick. They're highly obtainable as long as you have at least 60 FPS and no higher than 110 ping, I'd say. I feel like most players have 60 FPS these days. On my computer when I'm recording, I can easily do 144 frames stable. I can get it all the way, like, like way higher probably like 250 or 300 but it's not stable where it will jump from like 250 fps to 300 fps which kind of defeats the purpose of having high fps which is uh stability high fps is just to have the most stable clean experience to give yourself a uh a reaction time edge so if you're if your frame rate is being highly erratic it's just you might as well drop it down to a level where it can be stable at for me that's 144 which is fine uh, i i don't really find a huge difference between 144 and 244 hertz even though my monitor's 244 i was testing it out i really couldn't tell a tangible difference for me some people for them there is but uh for me i just i wasn't getting any extra value out of it at least not for League of Legends. Maybe if I was playing stuff like CSGO, I don't know. I know those type of people usually run as high FPS as it can go. A lot of them are bought right now. Oh my god. That's a lot of damage. Vagar missed pretty much everything on me, but he still chunked the crap out of me. All he hit me with was his R and maybe a Q, but he missed his rock and still almost killed me and I have shield bow. Can I take Baron solo? No, I can't. If I, if I, had, if I have a Bork, I think I can. I just need a little bit more damage and healing. I think I'm going to go Bork Wits End or Bork... Uh... I guess I'll go Phantom Dancer. Phantom Dancer's not bad. We'll go Wits End after. Eh, never mind. We'll go Wits End. Trying to <laughs> think about what would be best. They would both be pretty good here. I think Wits End would be a little bit better. Only way we die is if Vagar R does over half our health, basically. And if I get Wits End, it'll negate that. Vagar doesn't usually get Void Staff till fourth item because it needs Rabadon. And you see, they're starting to win. <laughs> Even though we're super far ahead in gold. They are starting to come back because their comp is so much better than ours. And these are the type of fights we need to avoid and I've been trying to avoid. Somehow they almost have Dragon Soul too, which is a little weird to me with how much pressure we've been drawing topside. 
you'd think we'd have soul I have to back out of here. They're all grouping on that former position. I'm gonna R auto attack Q reset. I need to heal off of something. I guess I'll just reset right here. I don't wanna deal with a full HP Fatafelios. Does he have vision of me in this bush or something? But if I can get off a of condemn, I'll take the fight. That's gonna cuck him really hard because I'll get up my lethal tempo before his is up and he'll be stunned out. So I worded the bush backed off. He flashed, he's like, oh, I have an HP advantage. HP advantage doesn't matter if you get condemned. Even if you're full health, then Vayne is no health. If she lands the condemn, you're pretty much just gonna die. Speaking of condemn, you can condemn people in the Trundle Pillar and Nivea Wall. I don't think you can condemn people in the Jarvan R though. I tried that recently, at least that's what my memory tells me. And uh, I'm pretty sure it didn't stun him. It just knocked him out of it, which is ridiculous. It should stun. But inhibs, turrets, walls, nexus, any kind of structure your evil stun people against and do even more damage. We should probably go split push top lane. I'm gonna ping it out because yeah, we should not group against their team. A Mumu R, Vagar Cage, a Felios R. That's just really, really bad for us. <laughs> we would need it like an Orn or Kogma or a Galio. Like we need something that can actually stand up to their initial burst, so our backline can kill. But nothing on our team can. So I'm gonna shove that wave back up because I have like, no support here. I'm totally dead. I almost had him if I didn't get stunned out. And Kaisa, oh my god, Kaisa still died there. Maybe team can get a turret off of that. <laughs> what? Oh, I'm hoping Kata gets it. The cage doesn't quite stun her. Oh no, she's just gonna die. Oh, I think Soraka's gonna die now too. That's really disappointing. I need QSS. Can't afford it. I'll wait and then I'll sell my uh I'll sell my Ruby Crystal for it. I feel like we played that fight pretty well with how we positioned against the singe. Is we're rounding the turret. I think right here. We're trying to position so we can condemn him. And Moon got on top. He R'd us right as we condemned him. We still almost got the Aphelios because our damage is just that bonkers high. Once I can afford QSS, I might be able to kill them all. I need to be able to QSS the Amumu R. It's like a two second stun. But really, 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 really big. Because I can dodge his Qs. It's hard to dodge his R though. It's not a skill shot. It's just a massive fat circle around him. They are down to only one Nexus. I have a feeling they're going to throw for final dragon. I have a feeling they're going to throw for drag soul. They're all going to group on it and I might be able to end. They're not going to be able to send Singe back to fight me at all. Scariest thing right now, Singe fling into Vagar Cage or just a raw Amumu R. If any of those things happen, we'll probably die. Okay, so we see they're all kind of topside right now. I got to back up a little bit. They're going to rush to the minions, and if I'm there, I'm going to die. I'll wait for Dragon to start coming up, but for now, we need more vision. We see Singe's mid. We don't see anybody else. We gotta chill. We see Vagar. Or we could probably step up. Oh. I take it back. I don't I don't know where Vagar is. Alright, I feel safe now. They're all grouping on dragon. There's Singe and Bar down there. Might be able to do something here. Oh, that's not fun. Down goes Vigar. Glad we went with end. And I think this is the part where they throw on Dragon Soul like I thought they would. They're gonna have to send at least three people to fight me like they've been doing. Bar's trying to back. They're all getting blasted by Lilia burn damage and that should be ggs guys I'm, what can i say i'm a fortune teller 
If you enjoyed this vain top lane commentary guide for season 12 League of Legends, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Looking at Dam's Delta Enemy Champions, we barely pinched off everyone else there with 31,000 damage. Looking at damage taken, we had pretty high damage taken. We, it was almost as high as a Moo Moose, and it was definitely up there. We're taking a lot of damage for healing done. Our healing dome is actually very low. Does that count as self-healing too? It's hard for me to believe our self-healing was only 2,284. It's a little wild. All right. Looking at runes, lethal tempo, we had two minutes of full up time and we had full up time nine different times. And I think it's like 40 or 50% attack speed for range. Overheal, which tilted us for 4,600. That's really high. Alacrity, time completed. 13 minute mark, coup de grace, 600 bonus damage, taste of blood, 1300 extra health, total healing. And Ravenous Hunter healed us for 3,670. All in all, Vayne, easily a top 10 top laner to carry with. Just don't pick her against Teemo, Malphite, or Nasus, and you guys should be good to go.